What's an accumulator? What are the two ways of laying ackers? And what are some examples that we need to know about for backing and laying ackers? Hey guys, Mr. Betsmart here and welcome to another YouTube video on my channel where we talk about longer explanation guides and instructional videos on how to do the basics of match betting. So without further ado, let's dive into the monitors. So what is an accumulator? An accumulator is basically when you have multiple selections um, for your back bet. So let's say um, we've got an example here, which is a Paddy Park boost, which is Real Madrid and Manchester City to win. So that means that we've got an accumulator uh, or you can call it a double uh, because there's two legs and um, an accumulator can be anything above one selection. So it can be two, three, four, etc. So that's an accumulator. So for the lay all feature, which is basically where we are laying the whole acker at once um, before the games have started, um, we basically need to go to the games selections on Smarkets, the exchange. Um, so this is the Champions League tonight. And we basically need to back the selections that are in our acker. So Real Madrid, we need to back that. And Manchester City, we need to back that as well. So that's these green buttons here. And then on the bet slip to the right, we have this multiples section. Now this section, we basically need to click the cell option to lay against the whole acker. Now this means that we've got this price here, the 4.9, and we can see that the spread, the amount they've increased the price from the buy is 0.7, so it's increased from 4.2 to 4.9. So that spread that Smarkets takes on their um, increase of their price is um, because they're the only exchange to actually offer this lay all feature out there and the others all have to use the other laying method of um, laying sequentially and um, yeah so that's uh, how you do the lay all method and another good thing to note is that you want to check that there's actually enough liquidity available to make the bet you want to make so if we wanted to do a 20 pound lay stake we can see that that's fine but say we wanted to do something bigger like a 2000 pound lay stake we can see we couldn't do that because there is a maximum stake of seven £170. If your ACK is on pretty high games that you know are quite important, that have a lot of liquidity flowing around, then you're probably going to be fine for this max state. But if you're doing things that have uh, smaller like selections that aren't as um, liquidity high, then you might want to just check this max state before actually placing your ACK bet. So that's how you use the lay all method to lay an ACK at once. Um, as I said before, the price that they take on that is going to be slightly uh, higher because they've, um, they're the only exchange to actually offer that feature and it's not as profitable as the lay sequential method but it's a lot easier because you don't have to worry about the selections winning or losing which you do for the next method. So the next method is called the lay sequential method and you basically lay the legs one by one depending if they win. So. Let me explain that again in the ACA Capture tool. So the lay sequential method is basically where you have to lay the legs one by one in time. So um, if the first leg of the ACA wins, uh, but the second leg of the ACA loses, that basically means that you have to lay the first leg of the ACA um, because it's one, that means that the exchange is lost and the ACA has now one win leg and they've still got two legs to play. Um, You'd then lay your second leg of the ACA with a certain lay stake that the ACA catcher gives us and um, say that lost, that means the exchange is now won, our profit's now on the exchange and our ACA bet has lost and we can now discourage the whole um, accumulator. So let me show you an example here. So one of the offers um, on the sign-up office is with BetBull and basically they will give you four £25 free bets. So I'm going to show an example using the lay sequential method uh, if, for example, we had one of those £25 free bets. So we're on the ACA Catcher tool, which you can find by going to Odds Matching and to ACA Catcher, and you can scroll down and you can basically see the uh, all the best um, accumulators uh, that you can take on for uh, laying sequentially. So there's a few filters you can put on up here. If you're doing a qualifying bet or a free bet, uh, you can do sequential. You can also do 12 hour sequential if you want to do ones um, 
in the next 12 hours to get one quite quickly done. And you can do certain filters up here as well of back, legs, uh, minimum and maximum, certain bookies, etc., accurate durations, just like the odds matching tool. Um, so I've got bet ball here and we're taking, um, I'll just put that in. I've got bet ball here and we're taking it as a free bet. So one last thing to note as well, for the laying sequential method, the games have to be starting at different times. So this means that the first game has to have enough time to start, play, finish, and then enough time for you to then lay the leg, the second leg. And the reason for this is that the outcome of the first leg is basically dependent on whether we even have to lay the second leg at all. So for example, for this first one, we've got uh, three games, um, the severe Barcelona game, Tottenham Burnley game, and Chelsea Man United game. Now these are all spread out at certain times so that we can then lay the next legs um, if the first leg wins and the second leg wins, etc. So this one's at 3.15 on the 27th, uh, this one's at 2 on the 28th, and this one's at 4.30 on the 28th. So they're not at the same time. So what we would do is basically um, for this £25 free bet, we would place it on Sevilla to win, Tottenham to win, and Manchester United to win. And then we'd make sure we had all the correct commission in and back in lay stakes, just in case the back stakes might have changed or the lay stakes might have changed. And then basically we come to here. Now this is basically what you need to do. You have to lay the first selection of the ACA, so Sevilla here to win. Um, the lay stake given is £20.52. You lay that leg, great. Now what you need to do is check if Sevilla have actually won the game. If Sevilla haven't won the game and Barcelona have won or it's a draw, that means that the whole ACA is over because our lay would have won. And that means we'd have £20.52 profit in the exchange and our £25 free bet would have lost. So we've made £20.52. But if Sevilla do win, then that basically means we need to go on to the next leg of the ACA. So what you would do is click this tick outcome. That would mean that your £20.52 lay stake and you would lose £50 liability in exchange would lose. But then we would have one winning leg of our accumulator. So then we'd go on to the next leg, Tottenham v Burnley. What you'd then have to do is lay the Tottenham selection on Smarkets £70.79 pence, and that would have a liability of £44.60. Again, if Tottenham win the game, then that means we'd have to click the tick button and carry on to the last selection of the ACA and lay that. Um, but if they don't win the game and they lose, then that means that we will be done with the offer because we will make uh, £70.79 in the exchange and we will lose the £25 free bet. But um, taking into account the liability of the £50.27 that we lost before, then we'd still have the same around about £20.50 uh, profit. So if Tottenham did win that game, you'd then click this tick and you'd have to lay the last game £115.39 with a £294.24 liability and uh, then you are done laying the ACA. Um, a few things to note about this method as well is that the lay odds can change as you go from your starting ACA, like say we went back to Sevilla. Say we went back to severe at the start, if the lay odds increased, say for Tottenham, then you would not have the same profit that you would have at the start. But then it can also go in your favour if, say, the lay odds drop, um, then um, you could potentially make more from the free bet. But that's just something you need to keep note of and change the lay odds. Um, and it will, it will change the lay stakes for you. Uh, the system understands that this is possible and this will happen. So, yeah, that's just something to keep note of. Doing it this way just basically means that you are laying at the actual odds of the game, so you get the best value. You're not getting the value of the lay all method where smart markets are taking a bit of a cut. Um, so usually in the long term, we'll get better profits, but having to check, say, twice, um, so you'd have to check a severe one, and you'd, you'd need to make sure that you checked before the start of the Tottenham game, because if not, you'd be vulnerable. And if Tottenham, say, ended up uh, losing, that would mean that Acker would lose and you would have lost this £50 liability and you wouldn't have laid um, Tottenham to then make uh, the money back um, from that liability. So you need to really be on it with the lay sequential method for Akers. 
One final thing is that you need to remember to save to my ACAs. So this is basically going to make sure that um, the ACA is pre-saved with all the odds that you had at the start. And then you can just go back in, say severe one, click the tick button, change your lay stake, say it went down to 1.6 naught. Um, then you'd have your changed lay stake that let's say uh, you put on and you click laid and you tick that because top of one again and then say that the layers have gone down to 3.50 um, then it'll give you a final lay stake say that lost that would mean that your acker would have then lost and your 117 pounds lay stake would have won so i hope that makes sense um, it'll also give you the total profits here um, so that's the lay sequential method so a few examples of where we can use these ACA lay methods is whenever we basically have any ACA offers. So for example, this bet ball £25 free bet offer on the signups, you can use for either the lay or the lay sequential method. Um, a few others that we can look at in my Discord server where I post daily reload offers is um, ACAs that are boosts. So for example, um, the lay odds of City and Madrid uh, that we saw earlier in the video. Um, if you want to do the lay all method, you can actually lay it at 4.75 on another book equal matchbook. That's another thing to note, um, but we'll get to that in a second, is matchbooks enhanced specials, um, where you can also do the lay all method, but they only do it for specific games. Um, there's a few other ones, I believe, that we had good wins on. So this one actually ended up winning. So this was a boost on Manchester United, Leicester and City winning. So we had a £20 max stake and six were the back odds and the lay odds using the lay all method were 5.1 and this meant with a standard lay you could guarantee £3.50 profit or with an underlay uh, you could get £18 profit if the ACA won and on this occasion the ACA did win so I made £18 and so did everyone in the Discord server. So that's just an example of a reload offer where you can use the lay ACA methods of laying or laying sequentially. If you had, say, laid this offer sequentially, you probably would have got more profit than this £18. But again, you would have had to have checked if the games actually did happen at different times so you can lay them one by one. So that's something just to keep note of. One final thing with Akers as well is the other exchange of Matchbook. And Matchbook basically has something called Enhanced Specials, um, which are over here on the left and we can see all of these enhanced specials so these are basically just like the lay all method on smart kits but they only do it for certain games so basically people will request certain hackers to be uploaded and then matchbook will essentially uh, approve some of them and have them up on the markets but you can't do this lay all method for specific chosen games only for the ones that they choose it's quite good sometimes because it can sometimes have better odds than the smart kits lay all feature and it's just another place that we can potentially get better prices I hope that video helps some of you guys understand accumulators and how to lay them and some examples behind them. It's really important to understand these terms well because there are usually higher liabilities when it comes to accumulators in your exchanges, so just be careful. So if this video helped you, please smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm so other people can see this sort of content and profit of their own. So thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video and take the edge off the bookies.